Hello and thank you for playing this video. This is Mark from MicrosoftAccessExpert.com and WinningSolutionsInc.com and uh, today I'm going to uh, show you our time card billing database and so uh, right now we're looking at the home page of our Access Expert site where you can find um, all the ways to contact us here on the right if you need help with this uh, template to incorporate it into a database that you have or you're looking for uh, help to build a new New database around it. Uh, so we have offices in Iowa and Florida and uh, we have a new person uh, with us in uh, Puerto Rico and so if you're a Spanish-speaking person and want to communicate with us in Spanish uh, please call our number here in Puerto Rico. All right let's get into the database. So uh, here it is this is our time card template database and one of the very basic functions that most businesses need to do is keep track of employee time. So uh, as you look at this database it is fairly fully featured and it may work for you the way it is now but remember that when you purchase this from us you're going to get all the source code so if you've uh, made an access database before or modified one um, not really just the data but actually you know modified the way the database works you'll be able to uh, take this database that you purchase and customize it to fit the needs of your business. So rather than uh, trying to adapt your business to some piece of software, the idea with this is that you adapt this piece of software to your business. Now, if you're not an access expert, you can contact us to, for help with this and we'll quote you a price to make whatever modifications you specify. But you're not limited to working with us. There are access people all over and perhaps you even know some. And if you purchase this uh, and you'd rather work with them on enhancing the database, uh, you're certainly welcome to do that. So let's get started here with a quick tour of the database. One of the first things you might want to do is maintain employees. So here we have all of the employees that are currently stored in the database. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, add a new employee to the database. So we'll go by uh, first name here. So let's go with uh, Lowers and Ralph. All right, now they're added to the database. So we just go down here and hit close. And then we're ready to go to, uh, let's go uh, maintain companies. So let's add a company uh, called uh, Joe's Electric. All right. Now that's been added. And with Access, you don't have to hit save after you do things like you do with the other Microsoft programs. It, once you put it in, it's saved. So if you, we go on to the next screen here and we uh, come back to uh, maintain employees or maintain companies, we'll see that our new business is there. So that's, that's just great and that makes things simple. So it's one less thing to train the people who are going to use the database uh, to remember to do. So uh, next thing, uh, you can set up various projects that uh, you might be doing. Uh, and so uh, here we have uh, a list of uh, different uh, projects that the different companies uh, in the database. So you could actually use this if you have different parts of your business that you want to track separately as separate companies or if you're actually uh, doing like an accountant and doing work for several businesses and have to uh, enter their timesheets and that sort of thing. So there's a variety of ways to use this. And again, it's just an example. There's nothing here is uh, set in stone. All of this is modifiable when you purchase the template. Okay, so our new project is going to be uh, Heinz Home. We'll say residence, that sounds better. And uh, we're going to have that be done by um, Joe's Electric. And then, oh, let's be a little bit more specific and say what we're doing. So we're going to rewire the garage. All right. That's all done. So we can hit close. Okay. 
So um, in this database, there's also a feature for uh, maintaining crews. So if you were going to send a group of people over to rewire the garage and they were all going to work the same amount of time and you didn't want to put time in for each individual person, uh, this crew feature allows you to uh, send the crew over and enter time and then it will add time. So if, you, if they work eight hours, um, it will put eight hours in automatically for each of the people on the crew. So that was kind of a neat feature that was suggested by one of our users from the last version that we had. Uh, and that ties into this batch time entry function and that's how you do what I just described. You pick the name of the crew, put in the project they worked on, the date, the number of hours, any notes you want to add about that project and the work that they did that day and then uh, that will happen. So uh, this system uh, does have oh, an, an important feature, which is uh, entering time. And so uh, you can also enter time by employee. So you just pick one of the employees, uh, put it, pick a project, enter the date, uh, how many hours they worked, and the notes, and you've then entered some time. So uh, there is some reporting capability, but you can always add more reporting functions uh, to the system. So um, you can report on an individual employee, you can report by project, you can report for work done within a certain date range, um, and then you can add some notes that, that appear in your uh, report or search for, I'm sorry, you can search for things that are in the notes. So uh, the, uh, let's take a look at one of these reports. All right. So very simple, very basic, but kind of a clean professional look to the report. And if you had lots and lots of hours, this report might be multiple pages and that sort of thing. And so you can add uh, you know, any reports you want to this yourself if you're familiar with creating reports in Microsoft Access. So let's go ahead and close that. And let's cancel this and we're back to our, our main menu. So we've kind of touched on everything here, but one thing I did want to show is that this uh, new version that we're offering uh, does support uh, two languages. It supports English and Spanish. So uh, if you prefer to work with the system in Spanish, uh, you can do that. And uh, when you get the, uh, the database, it will be for both languages. Uh, and so your users, if you have some users that are English speaking and some that are Spanish speaking, um, they can both both use the same database and enter information into it. So we think that's pretty neat and we hope that people will enjoy working with a database that supports uh, more than one language. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a, and found it helpful and useful too, we hope. Um, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you uh, in also en have enjoyed some other videos on here and wish to subscribe to our YouTube channel, we'd invite you to do that. Uh, we hope that you uh, decide to purchase this. Uh, you can download a demo of this. The demo version does not uh, save any data, but you can enter all the data you want. It's just uh, when you close the database, it erases the data. Uh, that's why it's a demo. The paid version uh, will allow you to save data. Uh, the demo version does not include or make visible all of the source code to go in and modify. The paid version does. So that's kind of the, the difference between the two. Uh, you can license this for use in your organization. Uh, one one of the great things about our licensing is that whether you have one or a hundred users, uh, you just pay us one flat price for the database and use it for as many users um, as you wish. Uh, then there is a, uh, a commercial version where if you want to resell the database, like take this and incorporate it into something or modify it and sell it into a certain industry, uh, you can do that. We offer a license price for that. So again, thanks for watching the video and and uh, keep uh, checking back here for new videos and new database templates. Thanks, everyone.